But let's talk for a minute, if you don't mind, about how expensive medical care is. As it is now the norm to have medical bills come to a patient that are demanding 10 or 30 times what a medical service would cost in a free market setting. It's outrageous. The prices of medical care have gone through the roof. The reality is the cost of that medical care has not gone through the roof. Matter of fact, the costs have gone down, but the prices that you pay have gone way, way up. This is what I call medical price hyperinflation. The people getting the difference between the actual cost of the medical care and the price that you're paying is a layer upon layer upon layer of administrators and corporations. The, the growth of the administrative sector is enormous in the medical system. It's, it's uh, much more than the growth of medical providers. So why is this price hyperinflation there? It's not because medical care is, is so high tech and therefore expensive. I would challenge you to find a single sector of the economy anywhere in which high tech makes it more expensive to provide the service. Doesn't happen. The higher the tech, the cheaper the service is provided. And that's the way it would be in medical care too. So the real thing that's causing medical care to get so expenses, expensive, we need to find it and then we need to treat that. It's so expensive that people have decided to get medical insurance in order to avoid bankruptcy. But the trick is, it is the medical insurance itself that causes the prices of the medical care to go up. It is medical insurance that causes medical, hyperinflate, medical price hyperinflation. So um, I got together with a bunch of people and, I, and over the years we've met each other to care about free market medicine, free association. And I, and I found this wonderful man, or he found me, uh, the, the founder of a company called Sidera, which I'm now the chief medical officer for. Um, and Sidera's solutions are focused on the real diagnosis for why the medical system is sick, which is the third party payment schemes. Sidera gets out of the way. Sidera is what's called medical cost sharing. It's a full fledged part of the sharing economy. Things like Uber and whatnot, where you share various things. Well, we're a full part of that medical cost sharing is. So Sidera is a community of happily uninsured people who recognize the failure of the current medical financial system and have decided to brave, to, to brave the, the, the environment and just say, look, we're gonna be pioneers. We're willing to make the effort necessary to build a new and better system. But while that better system is built, and it's gonna take a while because there's huge tax subsidies, huge massive crony things going on that keep this horribly sick medical system going. And so what we do at Sidera is we help each other. We help each other out if one of us gets sick or injured or is facing a bill. We help each other because we know we're all working together to build a better system, but it takes a while to build it. So the Sidera membership, each one is kind of responsible for the decisions they make and they're responsible to pay their, for their decisions. Whatever they choose, they pay for it. Sidera never pays a doctor or hospital. It's the other members who are sharing in your medical costs if you have them. We've never had a remote, we've never had a problem helping each other. And, and every member who asks to have their burdens to medical costs shared by others in the community has always been provided that sharing. And sharing is our term instead of you know, paying. We're not paying, we're sharing the burdens of medical expenses. Basically, it's all about caring. It's, you know, care about your health, care about your financial well-being, find doctors who care about your health and your financial well-being, care for other people in the Sidera community who are working with you to battle this horrible leviathan of a medical system, care about the prices and costs of your medical services. So just care, join the sharing economy and be part of the solution. You don't need to be dumping your money in the insurance system anymore. There's new stuff out there. The insurance companies just want to control you. If you want your autonomy back, throw them out the window. <laughs>